and I aim to blow the whole thing up from the inside out. Cameron's revenge plot is in full swing, or should I say full spin? But is the veto going to derail his plan to put Sari on the block next to her closest ally? You come for the queen, you better not miss. So let's get into it, a special two-hour episode 18 of Big Brother 25. I'm Anna Rumor, and this is Pop Culture Social Call. We pick up after Cameron blindsided the house by nominating Izzy and Felicia after telling everyone he planned to put up Jag and Blue. Cam wants to take out Sari, but he knows he can't come right at her, so he plans to make a strike at her number twos. And I want to watch it wiggle afterwards. Uh, okay, Cam. Kind of creepy. Now that Felicia's on the block, she's singing like a bird, telling Cam all the tea about Heisman and Red's eviction, which, of course, he's thrilled about. Felicia is singing like a bird, throwing her friends under the bus. Meanwhile, Izzy's just trying to pretend like she and Cam don't hate each other while campaigning for herself. I've never liked Cameron. I can't stand him. He makes my skin crawl. But while she might not have made a lifelong friend, she definitely picked up on Cam's plan to make Saria a replacement nominee. She is absolutely his replacement option. Jared's picking up on that too, and he's got the bonus of having Cam actually trust him because he thinks Jared only nominated him as a pawn last week. Totally wasn't the original target. Hell. This week is only Hell. starting. Even Gondol Dongle Jared can decipher that code. It means Sari's going up if the veto is used. Luckily for her, Sari truly has a lot of this house in the palm of her hand. Izzy tells Sari that if she wins the veto, she won't take herself down to protect Sari, which is wild. I mean, they do have this really sweet bond, I love watching it play out, but come on Izzy, you gotta play for yourself. And Jag and Matt, who have formed this new Minutemen final too, also don't want to use the veto. Meanwhile, America's just thrilled that someone else appears to be on board to take out Sari and her minions. She's been preaching it for weeks. They have been running the house. How is, you know, everyone so blind to this? But I guess Cam saw the light. So with that dynamic playing out in the household, we've got the veto. In addition to Cam, Felicia, and Izzy, Matt, Jared, and Jag are playing in this Buddy Games-inspired comp hosted by Josh Jamal himself. And don't worry, this is one of those comps where everyone wins something, whether it be the veto, a prize, or whatever this is. At the end of the comp, it's Jared that walks away with the veto again. While Felicia and Sari become kayak companions for 48 hours, love that, Izzy gets punished with the Piggy Pal prize. And yeah, she's bringing Cam on board with her for this digging expedition. Also, Matt chose not to take $5,000 so that he could take the Demolomaniac prize because he thought he would actually get to hang out with Josh Demol. But it's actually just a cardboard cutout. I can't. Matt really chose that over $5,000. With all this chaos going on in the house, Jared and Cameron are talking about how to use the veto. And while these two are pretending to be working together, they obviously want opposite things. Because the plan is I put Sari next to Izzy. Hmm. It was very much like an old Western stalemate, this conversation. But now both of these two have a much better idea about each other's true intentions. It's pretty clear to me that Jared doesn't want Sari going up. At the veto meeting, Jared declines to use the veto to save his mom from going on the block, and now it's Felicia versus Izzy campaigning for the votes to stay. And while Cam is frustrated he didn't get to execute his full plan of putting up Izzy and Sari, he's okay with at least having Sari's closest allies up there together. What an episode. I truly don't know who we're gonna see walk out of that house on Thursday. Stick with us, you know we'll be covering it. Like and subscribe and drop your thoughts down in the comments below. Until next time, I'm Anna Rumor and this is Pop Culture Social Call.